What I'm drinking right now is a Nail City Porter. Nail Brewing Company. It's nothing better. It's smooth, robust, velvety, luscious. If there was one of our house beers uh, that I was to enter in competition right now, it would probably be this one. Um, our Black Frost Schwartz beer. It's my dad's favorite style of beer, so I kind of did that one for him. So it's a German dark lager. It's not too hoppy, not too bitter, just kind of a dark beer with good flavor that's easy to drink. That was our first seasonal that we released, and we had a lot of people coming in just like, what happened to the Black Frost, man? Where is it? And we, I mean, we went through it so quick, and it was just like, sorry, man, it's, it's gone. It's going to come back next winter. And wow, there was a lot of... Uh, Scruntled <laughs> customers coming in around that time. Another one that is sold exceptionally well is our freewheeling, our gluten free beer. And it's something that I feel very passionate about. I mean, like the first night we put it on, I mean, we sold out that night. And it's something I feel passionate about because I've, um, I have a lot of friends that actually have uh, celiac disorder, you know, are not able to consume gluten. They actually have an extreme reaction. You know, and it's, it's really sad to see that there aren't a lot of good free options so that was kind of one of my main missions was to make an awesome gluten-free beer and actually the first gluten-free beer ever brewed in West Virginia by West Virginia Brewery so I'm proud to hold that honor. A lot of the uh, recipes that we've um, got here at Wheeling have been crafted over a period of years. Um, just a bunch of tests and it was all at that point um, they were all homebrewed batches. For the most part, I kind of had what I wanted for the brewery like down before I even started brewing here. It was just kind of like getting it to work with the system was the main thing. So we really lucked into this place. We were looking into like a location in downtown Wheeling, but we didn't quite know where we were going to end up. And we have some friends over at Market Vines next door, and they turned us on to this location, which you know we thought was a little small originally, but we saw the potential in it, and we saw that it was. Um, able to support at least the crowd that we thought we could start out with. Basically everything you see around you, this was really a, a blank space. The only thing that we haven't changed in this place is the ceiling. The brew house, we built that entirely ourselves. The the bright beer tank room, the kitchen back there, uh, the bar, everything we built ourselves. We were actually basement brewery before we were Wheeling Brewing Company. And that was when I first got hired. Uh, they hired me on as the uh, head brewer. I was looking at starting my own brewery here back in West Virginia and my um, dad actually works at Wheeling Hospital and he works there currently with Chad um, who's the one that started the basement brewery and um, so we started talking and I it was about like two or three weeks after we started talking about it that they invited me up here. It was the first time I'd ever been in Wheeling. I brought up a bunch of my home brewed like test batches for like what I wanted to do for my brewery and it was less than a week later, you know, just called me back, all the partners to send, and they just said like, yeah, we want you, we want you to be the head brewer at our brewery. So with me coming on and changing the flavors and bringing on new beers that I was creating, they wanted to rebrand the entire company uh, when moving to a brew pub. So that's really when we became Wheeling Brewing Company. And that was, you know, months and months of a transition and figuring this place out and getting ready. Um, we even became Wheeling Brewing Company before we got out of the basement. And then finally, when we got out of here and you know got the brew pub going, that's when everything really solidified. When you're in Wheeling, you are in Wheeling, and there is such history in this town. There is such like a presence. Like the people are different, and like just uh, even like for example, Moon Dog, that our IPA is named after. You will never find another town where <laughs> there is a guy that just rides his bike all around the town day after day and is kind of the superhero of this town. But, you know, doesn't really take any credit for it, just kind of rides around, helps direct traffic, stops fights and stuff like that, you know? This town has that and such a history. It's got panache. And, I don't know, I think that's just what's so cool about it and I'm glad to be a part of it. Heck, I mean, every one of our house beers is named after something special about Wheeling and we continue to name after things that are specific to Wheeling, and there's no shortage of names or concepts. So that's that's a cool thing.